Now, in the whole context of the 50th anniversary since the visit of His Imperial Majesty to Jamaica, this is a time that I and I need to reflect, and not just Rastafari, but Jamaicans in general, on what His Imperial Majesty left us as a legacy. What was the message that His Imperial Majesty had for I and I? Now, when I do the research and I do the readings, I take away from that several things. One, as Rasai I mentioned, was education. That's why he left us the last high school in 1966. That was no accident, my people. That was no accident because he realized that education was the foundation for the development not only of the individual, but of a nation as a whole. To have a strong nation that is embodied with the virtue of morals and, and vision and so forth, you need a sound education. And it doesn't have to be a formal education, but it should be an inspirational set of, 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 um, of different lessons that encourages ones to use their mind, to develop their minds, to develop creativity, to, de to develop the, the impulse and the inspiration to grow. And I believe that all of us have within us a divine essence. Yes, I truly do believe that. And we need to work on that divine essence. We need to build it as much as we can to fulfill our divine actualness, to, de to fulfill our full capacity. And many of us are not fulfilling that capacity. We have a lot of structural issues we have to deal with. Being here in the Caribbean, having undergone slavery, having undergone colonization. But despite that, we still have the ability to grow as a people. And Marcus Garvey showed us. Marcus Garvey didn't have a formal education, but if any of I and I read his readings, the philosophies and opinions, if you read his philosophies on any aspect of life, you will realize this is a great intellectual that we have. From from Jamaica, you have J.C. Rogers, you have so many great Jamaicans. So it doesn't mean that the ones then have to go to university, but the island should value education in general. Yes? Because Marcus Garvey value education. When we talk about education, we mean growing human potential, developing the thought process of the mind, developing the divine essence that lies in each and every one of us. But beyond education, what His Majesty also gave us was a vision of African unity. And that's very important, my people, because I believe that this vision that His Majesty has of African unity is not being realized by I and I. Rastafari should be the vanguard of Pan-African unity. And to be honest with you, I don't think we are realizing that dream. Whether you come from Japan, Africa, England, so long as what well, 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 Peter does said, so long as you are a black man, you are African. Yeah, but how much of us embody that position? We're very tribal at times. Why well, this man come from your son, this one come from this son. Even within mansions, we have in factionalism because this one belongs to that camp and that one belongs to that camp, let alone a pan African unity. So we should come back to the issue of unity, of unity. How are I and I going to move forward without unity? It's not going to happen. We're not going to move forwards. What Rastafari said, hmm? forward ever, backwards never, but I submit to thee, we are moving backwards right now. <laughs> I put that to you. You may disagree, but. I true. You know what I mean? Prove I me true. wrong. I and I charge the ones that to prove me wrong. Because I put to you that Rastafari has yet, yet to achieve a major victory. We've achieved small victories in the court system. 
but we have not yet gotten reparations for Pinnacle, reparations for Coral Gardens, reparations for Baca Wall. We haven't achieved it yet. All right? And it's not down just to the politician name, it's also down to how I and I move together in a unity. Because I submit to you that because if I and I was acting in unity, we may have achieved at least one of those victories. But let that be another topic of discussion. Right now, I and I want us to reflect seriously on the message that His Majesty had for I and I as a people. As African people in general, he said that we, it, as, as, as Jamaicans and Ethiopians, are one people. His message was of Pan-Africanism, my people. So let us, let us live that dream of Pan-Africanism. Let us embolden that message, that vision of unity, of a strong Africa, of a strong, united African people. And I'm not going to speak too long. I just want to thank all of those who have made this celebration of His Majesty's visit to Jamaica, the 50th yeah, commemoration, the Jubilee occasion, a truly majestic affair. We have in our presence His Imperial Highness, Prince Omaya Salis Selassie, Haile Selassie, grandson of His Imperial Majesty, who is here with us in the commemoration of this great occasion. Let us clap His Imperial Highness, Prince Amaya Salis Yes. And there were various machinations which had to take place to facilitate His Imperial Highness to come here. But what is important, His Imperial Highness expressed to me a strong desire to be here. He wants and he wanted to celebrate the commemoration of his grandfather's visit with Jamaica because he has a deep abiding love for the Jamaican people and when he comes on the podium very soon I think that will be clear. We've had a very interesting few days here in Jamaica in celebrating this commemoration and I think that we, we haven't totally replicated the footsteps of His Majesty, but we've come very close to following in the footsteps of His Majesty. And the theme of the commemoration, as was conceptualized by our committee, was following in the footsteps of His Majesty. And I, I think that we came really close. We, we went to National Heroes Park, a wreath was laid on Marcus Garvey's shrine, also um, at the Cenotaph, we went to Michael College, we went to Jamaica College, we went to UTEC, which was cast when His Majesty visited 50 years ago, we went to UWE, you know. We went to many of the institutions, we went to Haile Selassie High School, we had a great civic ceremony there, and we were able to leave them with a monument, a monument to commemorate 50 years since the founding of that school, which is a true, true, uh, concrete, legacy of his majesty a school and i implore all of i and i to partake and contribute to the upliftment of that school because it's going to need all of our efforts to really do justice to the vision of his majesty let i and i look within ourselves and ask if that vision is being fulfilled the school is there but it needs resources my people it needs resource both material and otherwise and there are ones who have contributed and we give thanks to all those people who have contributed thus far. In fact, His Imperial Highness announced on Friday the 22nd that he was himself going to contribute 600,000 Jamaican dollars to the school. And we give thanks to that. And I would like to see more, more ones and ones contributed. Those who can contribute in cash or kind. I am telling you in very serious um, terms, the school needs it, it needs our help. So let us not just talk, let, let's, let's walk the walk. Let's have some action. Let's put ourselves to the test.